Washington State heads to USC, and USC currently a 12.5 point favorite at home. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, looking at the trends here, uh, the road team in this matchup is 7 and 2 against the spread in the last nine. Uh, Washington State 4 0 against the spread in the last four games. They are 5 and 2 against the spread in their last seven road games, so they do travel pretty well. USC, 2-5 and five against the spread in their last seven games against winning teams. Now, a good portion of that was against teams when Clay Helton was the coach. So, yeah, obviously things went south last year, and even the year before that, they weren't very good. It, this team feels a little bit different, right? Um, my number on this is actually USC by almost 20, so 19.6. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much I trust it. I look at what Washington State is doing, and their defense could find ways to maybe slow down Caleb Williams in that bunch. Because I don't know that Caleb Williams in that bunch have really been tested all that well so far this year. Oregon State, of course, played them tough, and then went out the next week and just got bludgeoned by Utah. Uh, and you can say, oh, it's because they had four turnovers against Utah. But they had four turnovers against USC. And USC still had to claw back. Washington State is not intimidated by these guys. Um, I'm I'm curious about... Because the, the USC defense appears to be pretty real against the pass. I just don't know exactly who they've gone up against that is able to throw the ball the way that Cam Ward does. Cam Ward, still high variance kind of guy. He can throw interceptions as well as touchdowns. It's... You don't know exactly what you're going to get. And when you look at, like, turnover rate, yeah, uh, just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Um, Interceptions per game, uh, as far as the interception rate, yeah, USC is number one in the country. 7.79% of the passes they defend, they end up intercepting. Uh, Washington State throws an interception on 4.64% of their pass attempts. So that's a way that this thing could get sideways. I mean, you're talking about the number one turnover margin team in the country against the number 100 turnover margin team in the country. That's where it could get tricky. I seem to believe, now I'm going against my number here, I'm going to take Washington State to cover the 12 and a half. I think they find a way to stay in this ball game, keep it close. Uh, I, this is a tight spot for USC. They got a big game next week against Utah. That's the one everybody's pointing at. Oh, it's just Wazoo. We're not going to worry with them. We'll be able to handle them. No problem. This thing could get tricky. It could get tricky. Ask Oregon about that. So, yeah, I will I will ride with Washington State plus 12 and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.